11. And we begin tonight with our California wildfire coverage. The Caldor fire continues to threaten homes and lives in El Dorado County. Tonight, that fire is forcing the highway patrol to shut down Highway 50 as they fight to keep it from jumping the line. Now, the flames have so far stayed south of Highway 50. The concern tonight is just the potential for this fire to burn closer to the highway. The highway is closed from Sly Park to Myers. It's all because of concerns that the fire could start burning too close to the road. Mandatory evacuation orders in place right now for communities between Sly Park and Strawberry. Officials are urging people in that area to get out and head to a safer place. This fire has already burned more than 75,000 acres and right now it is zero. No containment estimate right now. More than 100 structures have been destroyed. More than 20,000 people are still out of their homes. We do have team coverage of the California wildfires. Mark tracking all of the smoke in the region. But first we go to KCRA 3's Erin Hatch. She's live on Highway 50 where the road remains closed tonight. Good, good evening, guys. We are right now in Kyber, smack dab in the middle of that 40 mile closure that is all the way up to Myers near South Lake Tahoe and all the way down into the Pollock Pines area. What you're seeing right here are fire personnel. They're staging, making sure that this fire does not jump Highway 50 and does stay south. We talked to people that are stuck on either side of these closures, not being able to get in. But the people who live here, we talked to them, people from Kybers, trying to get everything they can out of here. Off of what road? North Upper, Taki. North Upper thank yeah. you. Car after car turned around. This has just been such a constant. Highway 50 between Sly Park Road in Pollock Pines all the way to Myers, that 40 mile stretch of road closed. Except for people who live here, they're under mandatory evacuation and grabbing what they can. Dude, I, I finally found heaven and now I'm being forced to leave. This is Amanda Harrison. This has to go. This is the only place we'll have to sleep. Days ago, evacuating from her home in Kybers to this parking lot in Strawberry. She says she spent days returning home, soaking her property. It's super emotional. It's emotional to watch my the community and the people and my friends. Now everything she brought here to Strawberry has to move. It, it's, it's apocalyptic, dude. As we spoke, ash beginning to fall from the sky. The Caldor fire being fought from the south and the hope homes like Amanda's are saved. This place is special. This place is, um, this is God's land. That's exactly what she was saying. Super passionate here in Kybers. It's eerily quiet without the sound of the engine. The only headlights that you're seeing, if they even pass at all, are fire personnel and Caltrans. Now, just for perspective, the AQI, the air quality index in the area just at 11 went to 310, which is in the hazardous range. This entire AQI scale only goes to 500. Reporting in Kybers, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, and when we take the wider shot with the headlights behind you, we can just see how thick that smoke is where you are tonight. Aaron, thanks for that report.